Our hearts were broken by the sudden loss of Lee this week. She was an inspiration to so many of us. Our community lost a truly bright light. Katie and I know the depth of grief being experienced, and we want you to know we see you. It is okay to not be okay. We will continue to support Lee's mission to destigmatize mental health struggles. Please consider donating to the GoFundMe her family and close friends have started to help end cyberbullying and support mental health awareness. And if you or someone you know is in crisis, you can call the national hotline at 1-800-273-TALK or message the crisis text line at 741-741. More information can be found in the description of this video. We want you to know you are not alone and we love you. What's up everyone? In last week's episode, we built drawer boxes for our kitchenette. This week, we are adding the drawer slides and getting them installed in the van. Follow along as I walk through the process. But before we get started, I wanted to announce that we launched a single tier YouTube membership. It doesn't carry all the perks as our Patreon account, but it's a way you can support us, which some of you have asked about. Now that that's out of the way, let's get started. Time to get those drawer slides in. The first thing I'm gonna do is attach the bracket that goes to the front of the uh, slide. So for this bracket, it sits right on the face frame on the inside of it like this. It takes two screws. I ended up getting a VIX bit for the drill, which centers the, the hole perfectly uh, when you push into it. So this bracket has these nice little uh, grooves to make sure that it sits in the exact spot you need it to on the face frame. So as long as you're holding it in there nicely, it's nice and sturdy. The bottom drawer, because it doesn't have a rail, I am going to use this block, which will be considered a spacer. So I'm just gonna set it there and then I will be able to move it to the other side and we will have the exact same placement on uh, the bottom rail for that one too. We got all those brackets in. So the bracket that goes on the back wall needs to be square as well. The best way to do that is to have a back wall of a cabinet. On the left side, we have the upright that is the frame for where the door is on the outside of our water cabinet, the outside, you know, looking into the van. But on the right side, we just have the back wall, which as you can see from that gap is not straight. So I cut a, just a, a stringer, painted it, uh, white and I'm going to pocket jig it there on the bottom and just drill it directly into that piece on the back. The nice thing about these back brackets is you have two inches of play in between where these little tabs in there, I don't know if you can see those on camera, those little tabs connect to the drawer slide and you have two inches of play. So this will be a half inch forward of the ones on the left side, but it's not going to be a big deal because this bracket can make up that half inch within that two inch distance. Now we're gonna go ahead and see about getting the drawer slides installed. Uh, the first thing is clipping on the back anchors or back brackets. And like I said, they have that two inches of play. You want to make sure everything is square and obviously in a van because the van is slanted, it's on, you know, grass in my backyard. The floor slopes down a little bit. It makes it pretty difficult to get things square. Uh, as many of you probably know, having built out your own van or are in the process of building out your own van. One of the things for drawer slides to be able to get them um, in squarely is this Craig jig. Uh, for drawer slides. One problem that I am running into though, because I'm using these face anchors, these usually sit on the face frame and your drawer box or your drawer slide sits on top of this. Because of the way this connector sits, it sits up higher than this little piece does. Uh, so I'm having to try to find a way of going about it without utilizing this. 
So what I have come up with is putting in the Craig drawer slide jig underneath where the bracket is, and then adding a half inch piece of ply as a spacer. So normally this connects on top of your face frame and clamps on from behind here. And then your drawer slide sits on top of this, but that is for when you connect it directly to the face frame. So for my application, I'm not going to use that little tab and I'm gonna butt it up on the face frame and up to the little metal spot on this bracket below. And so we'll go ahead and throw our clamp in there. Here's a half inch piece of ply. We'll slide that underneath. The spacing for this bracket here is the exact same as the one up here in the front. It is basically perfect with a piece of cardboard, like that's nice and firm in there. So using this spacer on the back, this cardboard piece on the back, should hopefully line up underneath this half inch ply very square and we can do that on both sides and so the drawer slide should hopefully be identical. There's a little raised bump there and it connects into the hole on the drawer slide and so then it keeps it popped in in the exact spot it needs to be. See now it doesn't move back and forth at all and so we'll space out in the back underneath that metal bracket. So now we should have a level drawer slide front to back and it should match identical to the one over here because our Craig jigs are set up in the exact same way on our face frame. So when we go ahead and screw in the bracket, there are these extra long places in the bracket in the back. And so using this one in the middle, you will have that much play on the screw head as long as your screw is not tightened down all the way. We will go ahead and put a screw in that middle track, trying to make sure it's somewhere in the middle and not doing it too tightened down. And then as the drawer goes in, like you can see that it goes back and forth within that track. So the uh, height is pretty much set, but the side to side play with that track will allow us to go back and forth. And once we put the drawer in and out a few times, it should settle in the right spot. So now we will go ahead and get the drawer and figure out installing the drawer slide into it. I'm helping. So is Francis. We're doing a good job. One way to utilize these, you can flip that tab out and you can clamp it to your face frame so that you put your box on top of it. And when the drawer slide comes out, you have a spot where you can just go ahead and drill in a couple of the holes into the side of your box and it should be perfectly level on there, exactly how you would want it. Um, but because we have this wall here, we won't be able to do that. So instead of utilizing those, I am going to take out the drawer slides and screw them onto the side of our cabinets ahead of time. And so one way of doing that to have a straight line all the way across is obviously measuring up from your face frame to where the holes would be. And it is looking to be one and a quarter inch up and then planning for that quarter inch below the drawer so that it has something to slide over. I'm going to draw a line an inch up from the bottom of the drawer on the side of my, my drawers and then go ahead and just drill this right to the side of it. So these drawer slides that I have, they have a little black tab and you just push that down and it pulls out. And so now we know these holes are what we're going to line up uh, at that one inch mark. So as I was lining up the drawer slide, I also realized that the center hole is exactly a half inch up from the bottom of the drawer slide. So I took that piece that we used as a spacer for setting up where the drawer slides were gonna go within the van and set that on the table here. From here, we're gonna go ahead and line up the front of the drawer slide because that's what these drawer slides want you to do. Uh, some have you know, a setback that you're supposed to do like an eighth of an inch, a sixteenth of an inch, but mine are supposed to be exactly lined up. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and take that VIX bit again to get a directly center hole uh, in a couple of these uh, holes here. And we're gonna go ahead and get three screws in and do it on the next side and then go see that this drawer fits in the van. One thing you gotta make sure to do, there's this ball bearing spot here uh, that holds onto this track. If it slides back in there, it can hit the retainer so that the soft close feature doesn't work if you have a soft close feature on your drawer. So make sure these are pulled forward first uh, before sliding it in. But then it's all as easy as sliding it into uh, the drawer here. Well, <laughs> I should have done my measurement a little bit better. So we got that perfect half inch on the bottom but up here on top, it's rubbing. It's like a perfect fit right there. So I went ahead and removed those drawer slides. Uh, the way I'm getting around that spacer is I put the half inch ply underneath uh, the uh, drawer. And then I took a three quarter inch piece of wood. Uh, so that changes uh, the height down a quarter inch. Hopefully then we will have no rubbing on the top anymore and uh, we can go ahead and get these installed. I completely screwed that one up. Second time, time was not a charm. Um, I did the spacer opposite of what I needed it to do. I put the rail down, which raised up the box. I need to just do the three quarter on the side and that will raise it up uh, basically another half inch from where it is now, uh, which is a quarter inch over where we were originally. I'm gonna go ahead and get that going now and hopefully third time's a charm. This better work or else I'm gonna be a little bit upset. Heck yeah. Soft clothes and all. The first couple times it was very rough. It wasn't sliding nicely. As you can see now it slides really nice. Remember on the back on those brackets, we didn't drill them into the wall all the way. So now that I've opened and closed this a handful of times, it kind of evened itself out and we'll be able to screw in the wall in a couple different places. And these slides should be set perfectly. There's that drawer with the soft close. Got it all, uh, a couple of other screws in the bracket there. So it should be good to go. We'll just have to figure out the front for it, but I am gonna go ahead and move on to the next so many drawers. And then we'll get the fronts together at the same time when they're all in there. To get this last drawer in, we went ahead and put a spacer in to get this bottom drawer in the spot that it needs to go. That ended up being three and a half inches from the bottom of the toe kick. Otherwise that bottom drawer adds it up to about five and a quarter inches from the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some scrap pieces of wood and see that I can't get them leveled out to the five and a quarter mark. Frank, you excited for the drawers? <laughs> well, guess what? First shot, everything is golden. So sadly, there's that half inch that we missed cutting off the drawer, which you can get back behind there kinda, but you know, no big deal. <laughs> but smooth. Yep. It's kind of extra slow motion. We are slanted on a hill. All of the drawers start sliding out. This drawer is a lot heavier with as much wood as there is in it. Uh, so being on that hill, I think that uh, soft close feature is just, I think the weight is kind of fighting it a little bit. But otherwise everything runs nice and smooth. So the rain stopped, it's pretty overcast, but I'm hoping I can get these drawer fronts on before uh, it does actually come. One of the things I am trying to figure out 
is how to make sure they are all square. The way we put the drawer slides on, we just use the table as uh, with spacers. So I decided I'm going to put the drawer down on three quarter inch ply, three quarter inch board here uh, to make the space for the bottom piece going below the drawer. And that should give the correct overlay that I want for our face frame. To make sure all of the inside pieces line up, I have this ruler that you basically can set to a certain point and it has a nice flat side. So I decided where that inside line will be directly in the middle of that face frame. And it's at one and three quarter inches. So I set this to one and three quarter inches. And then I'll drive a couple pocket hole screws through the edge, through the sides of the box into the face frame. And then I'll go ahead and flip the box over, do the same thing on the bottom. And then it should give a nice solid hold. Everything should be spaced out identical. Everything should hopefully be level because we leveled it on the table originally. And then hopefully that line all the way up the four drawers looks good uh, and will be golden. Heck yeah, there we go. I'm gonna have to get the uh, hardware on. Oops. But they work. Oh, it's hard to do with one hand. <laughs> Check it out. Awesome. All right, did a little looking in there. And I think if I just go ahead and level it with the bottom of this toe kick, it'll be fine for the spacing all the way up. It'll all be equal. Got it. Look at that line. Lines up perfectly all the way up that side. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get these doors on. Um, probably not tonight. As you can tell, it is dark. <laughs> it got dark pretty quick. So, yeah, we'll pick you back up soon. I hope this episode was helpful to you installing drawer slides in your van. If it is, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for more van build videos, and to see other adventures we get up to. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a great week.